Okay, so we're going to palpate your ASIS. That is your anterior superior iliac spine. So I'm just going to put my hands around your hips here, and we're going to feel for the bony parts right here. That's your ASIS right there. We can use that to check the level of your hips. The next one we're going to do is your AIIS. That moves down just a little bit, so I'm going to inch down just a little bit, and I'm going to feel for like a little indentation, and then we're going to come to AIS, AIIS, the anterior inferior iliac spine. That's where your rectus femoris attaches, and rectus femoris is part of your hip flexors. So we like to check that to see if there's any sensitivity there, or if that's tight or not. Um, the inguinal ligament runs from ASIS to your pubic ramus. So if we want to palpate that, I'm just going to take the heel of my hand and I'm going to run back and forth here. And it kind of feels like it's um, like a band. Is there any sensitivity there? No. When that gets tight, it can cause um, nerve impingement of the femoral nerve, femoral cutaneous nerve. And there's a syndrome called neuralgia parasthetica that can cause a lot of pain in the back of your glutes and down the side of your leg. Um, your psoas and iliacus, I'm just going to undrape your leg here. I'm going to have you bend your knee up on the table. Everything okay? Yeah. Feel comfortable? All right, so to feel this one, this gets a little ticklish. So I want you to put your hand with mine. Since tickles a pain response and you can't hurt yourself, that'll help with decreasing that pain response, okay? So we're going to feel around the inside of your hip bone here for iliacus. So I'm just going to check and see if I can feel any sensitivity there. Are you okay? Yeah. A little sensitive? Yeah. It's usually a little sensitive on most people. Then we're going to go to your belly button here and we're going to move just to the side of it. And I'm just going to press in here. You okay? No ticklish, no pain? And then pull your knee up into my hand. When you feel that pop up into me, kind of, you don't really want to lift your leg up because it feels like you can't because I'm pressing on it. That's psoas. That's your main hip flexor psoas. Um, the next thing that we're going to do, I'm going to have you put your leg back down. We're going to undrape it here. And we're going to feel for your inguinal pulse. So I'm going to feel right at your ASIS. It's a good place for me to start. And um, we're just going to move inward to your femoral artery. We're going to feel for that pulse there. And it's right in along with the, um, in that inguinal line there. Um, the next one we're going to do is your abdominal pulse. And generally you can just touch on the belly button and you can feel the heartbeat right, oh, heartbeat. right in there or your food. And um, from your belly button, we can move down. We're gonna we can palpate the rectus abdominis, your muscles in, on your stomach there that run straight down. A lot of times, those can have trigger points in them that they can cause low back pain. So we're just gonna inch down until we get to your pubic bone. We're gonna stop right at your pubic bone. Now, one of the reasons we feel your pubic bone is because that's where the two hip bones come together. We're gonna feel the pubic ramus along the sides here. And feel all the way across, and then the pubic crest and pubic symphysis right at the top. And that pubic symphysis, it can shift in different directions, so we can have a shear or we can have it raise up and down. So we want to feel that everything's even, and everything feels like it's even with you. When they're off, it can cause a lot of pain and dysfunction, so we got to check and make sure. Um, if I can have you flip over, I'm going to... Okay, so we're going to palpate your iliac crest, so I'm just going to come into the sides of your hips here and we're going to feel for the bones. So right where these bones come across, that whole line there is the crest of your both of your iliums. And then where those crests end is right at your PSIS, your posterior superior iliac spine, these little nodules right here. If we come down from there, you can feel like an indentation and a little knot or a little um, protuberance there. That's your PIIS. From here we're going to feel your gluteals. So if we want to palpate for glute medius, we come up along that whole edge of your iliac crest. That's glute medius. And then right underneath that, or not necessarily underneath, but just down from that, is glute minimus. 
your piriformis we're going to find by coming and feeling your sacrum so we're here right on your sacrum and then we're going to come to like the middle of the sacrum here and feel for your greater trochanter greater trochanter is the end of your femur so i'm going to keep one hand here then i'm going to come to the side of you and we're going to press down and that's that bone right there that's the top of it so we're going to feel for that bone and we're going to look this line that gets drawn here and that's where your piriformis is now, piriformis is important because the sciatic nerve in, in some people can run directly through it and some people it runs over it and some people it runs under it so when it gets tight and some people it can impinge that nerve just just by having tension in it so that's your piriformis quadratus femoris femoris and the ischial tuberosity we can find we're going to undrape your leg here So your medial hamstrings, they're going to attach on this ischial tuberosity here. So we're just going to check and see if there's any tension in your hamstrings and it's going to move all the way up the bottom of these bones here. And see where my hand stops there? That's your sitz bone or your ischial tuberosity. And then we can come to the side of that ischial tuberosity and find that greater trochanter again. So here's your greater trochanter and right in here in between those two, that's your quadratus femoris. 